All right, well, I guess we don't have the technical quiz intro anymore, so there's the intro to the technical quiz. Bang. So welcome, everybody, to our Daily Gun Show. Come to you live every weeknight at midnight Eastern, and we talk about guns. And on Wednesdays, we do the tactical quiz. So uh, we've got a robot-generated quiz tonight. A bunch of links out there. Let's see if anybody else joins, but right now we've got Baron joining us from Washington. Thanks for joining. Thanks for uh, Thanks for the link. Put it out there in uh, Gilded, so you can jump in if you're on one of our Gilded people. If you're uh, on the list of many people I emailed, you can jump in. So I'm guessing you want to beat the computer. You're trying to play against the computer here tonight? Assuming you can beat the computer. Well, Did the but, computer uh, give you answers or just questions? I don't know. I got the answers, and that'll be the, the thing, is trying to get to the same answer as the computer. <clears throat> but I'm thinking if nobody else shows up, then you might just end up being my co-host, and we'll let people at home play. We do got Lockjaw joining. Good evening. And Roy is out there. I'm not sure if they'll be able to participate, if they're uh, able to get to a uh, keyboard and play. Um. Uh, Chris is saying he had to turn the volume down because of the audio. Huh? That's you can thank Foss for that. He made that audio for that uh, <laughs> commercial for me. Now it's more like the uh, beginning of the nineteen seventies action television show, really. All right. Well, uh, we got about five minutes here. I guess we'll go to the ten minute mark. Uh, my co-host is sleeping, so. Uh, what's happening in Washington? It's pretty much over. Everything's back to normal now. Pretty much uh, everybody's kind of just over with that whole thing. Um. Well, let's see. The uh, assault weapon ban is that what you mean? All the gun laws. Yeah, that's looking at whatever that stuff is. Yeah, I mean they're moving forward. Um, they passed the House or the Senate. And now they're in the other, going through the process. Um, we're going to have, um, people doing testimony soon and, uh, hopefully they listen to us and, uh, we'll see what happens. And I think it's interesting that the, uh, other side, I don't know if this was, uh, coordinated or coincidental, but they got a lot of states that are getting 
wailed on right now. So are you able to pay any attention to those other states that are having issues? Yeah, I'm mainly paying attention to the ninth because uh, that's where I live. So that affects me the most. Like what's going to happen in California that gets sent up to the ninth um, could save our butt in Washington too. So you're talking but, about uh, the, yeah, it's the been pretty crazy. Thing. You're talking about the immediate stuff in California, or just uh, no? I mean, like uh, they're currently fighting um, gun laws that are on the books, like the gun roster, their assault weapon ban, their mag ban, that type of stuff. And then in states like Washington, Oregon, they're trying to push through new shit. So it's kind of a race to see if we can overturn California shit before they put in stuff in other states in the ninth. So it's uh it's pretty interesting. It is. And I don't know how many people are paying attention, but uh, that you mentioned the look, paying attention to the circuit, you mm -hmm. know, it's been more of a thing lately than in past years for sure, uh, where people are paying attention to the, what the circuits are doing. And, uh, seems like if you think about it each of these attacks that are happening right now are happening in different circuits and pretty difficult to keep track of what's happening in another state when you're getting clobbered so uh real challenge for the people that may not be uh, next to the hole in the boat when there's a bunch of different holes in the boat you got different people bailing um it's not as though one hole is going to sink us faster than the other, right? They're all mm -hmm. lake and water. Um, Roy is saying that Miller versus Bonta, I guess, um, should have a decision in the next week or so. So I haven't been paying attention. So is there a way to summarize what's happening in California then? Yeah. Um, Miller versus Bonta, is there um, – their challenge of the assault weapon ban and uh it's gone to um benitez i think is his name um he's the guy that overturned it last time for freedom week when they got the mags for a week and then it went up to the ninth and they got rid of it um so hopefully he'll overturn it and if newsom is dumb enough he'll appeal it up to the ninth and then they'll overturn it and it will free everyone in the ninth. If they don't appeal it, it just does California, which is still good. I mean, California has been getting screwed over for what? 25 years. Easily. Well, I said we would go with about 10 minutes with me and boring second amendment stuff and then we'll start doing the quiz here so the quiz is going to start in about 20 seconds doesn't look like anybody else is going to join and that's frustrating so i sent out that link to a bunch of people and people in the patreon or wait does it called the uh, gilded gilded can uh, click on the link right there well i think if no one joins that means i automatically lose right because i can't win against myself no you're trying to win against the computer so basically it's just going to be how much you get pummeled by the computer so Everybody's going to just watch this, I guess, happen. So, you'll just, so you already bought stuff from our store, and I was going to mm -hmm. do a free patch Friday thing. I was going to talk to you anyway. Did the other show that you host with uh, Foss, who didn't join in tonight, uh, called the Mouse Party, I believe mm -hmm. is what they name it. So it's known on the streets as. So uh, I was going to ask you in there about if it's cool to do some kind of free patch Friday thing um, on Friday, uh, if you'll be around, or... Uh, we could possibly do it in this show since you're sitting here and nobody else has shown up. But uh, what I was going to suggest is what we'll do is there's 12 questions. And since nobody else has got the uh, cojones enough to join in and challenge the AI, um, what we'll do is we'll put a free patch in here for every question you get correct. Here's the deal. Ooh. The, I asked the AI to give me 12 question quiz with answers about interesting guns from U.S. history. And you got to be actual. You have to be accurate to what the computer says, not to what you think it is or not to what <laughs> the world thinks it is, maybe. 
Not but, even what reality is. <laughs> how do you know what reality is? Isn't what the AI says reality is. Right? Exactly. So we're just going to go with what with the reality of what the AI says and how close you are to that. Now, here's the deal. There's people out there watching and listening right now and possibly in the future. So if you're listening to this as a podcast, then I'll go slow enough that we'll, uh, this won't be like a lightning round. It won't be like listening to rapid fire radio on Tuesdays with uh, Cape Gunworks where there's so many questions that you hear the answers almost immediately. This will be slower, so you'll have a chance to... Uh, Think of your answers and then i guess baron's the only one playing since nobody else is jumping in uh but there's lots of people out there with links and we'll see if anybody else joins in so essentially we've got one patch up for grabs for each correct answer possible 12 extra free patch friday patches on the line here all right are you ready you need any kind of warm-up or any kind of prep here it's open book. um use the internet Do you give me the answer if I get it wrong? So, like, am I going to get an idea of what type of AI answers I'm getting, or am I just going to get wrong? I don't know. Yeah, I'll give you the what it. Well, I guess what we'll do is we'll, uh, if we get two answers from the people out there listening, then I'll answer it. Otherwise, I don't want to ruin these questions because the AI can only okay. so many questions before it runs out of electrons. So, I don't know if, like, Maybe the AI answer is like uh, butterscotch or something. It's like no, I'm they're, a... <laughs> they're all right. They're all 100% okay. Right. It's just that if uh, if you say a 38 special blah 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 Smith and Wesson four inch barrel, and the answer is a revolver from Smith and Wesson, you're wrong because you didn't say. You know what I'm saying? Like it's, mm -hmm. or maybe that's a bad example. But if you said something super specific, and the computer said didn't need to be that specific, or vice versa. That's where the fun comes in. Well, if um, I get one answer right, I'll be happy. All right. Well, you're setting a low bar there. Uh, let's go through and say hey to everybody who's out there, there again. Uh, we've got Baron who's in here playing, the only person who's going to play today against the AIs. Uh, this is a lot like ex when the first humans played against the first uh, computers when they were playing checkers or whatever, except uh, this is a lot more at risk, a lot more on the line. Then we we got Lockjaw out there. Good evening. Roy, been sitting here since the beginning. Welcome. Chris, I was also out there since the beginning. Bionic something snagged me an NAA ported magnum. It's all right. Here's what you got to be careful for. A twig or some kind of a branch falling into those ports, and you're in real <laughs> trouble. So just be careful about that. Uh, G23. And that's everybody. So here we go. Um you are allowed to get answers from the audience since it's open to internet. Okay. First question is, what was the name of the rifle used by American frontiersman Daniel Boone? Hmm. Would it be a Kentucky long rifle? Answer is the Kentucky long rifle. Well done. So we'll put a star on that one because that's an answer that is correct. All right. So this will go pretty quick. Uh, nobody else is jumping in. So. See, that was tricky. Could it have just been Kentucky rifle? You never know. Well, that would have been close enough. But if you would have said something like, oh, the Pennsylvania rifle, then it would have. Been right. <laughs> I almost said that. <laughs> All right. So the next one is. What type of gun was used in the famous duel between Hamilton and Burr? Alexander Hamilton and Aaron Burr. Hmm. Dueling pistol? When I put the answers out there somewhere? No. So that one is dueling pistol. So well, I guess well done on that. Stay I am an evil up. robot, so. Essentially stealing patches from me at this point. So I feel like the robots are in this against me and <laughs> figure out what's going on here. So nobody else is playing. So essentially Baron's just scooping them up. Everybody else out there basically just left patches on the table. All right, next up is... What is the nickname of the M1 Garand rifle used by soldiers in World War II? 
the Garand. Of the M1 Garand rifle used by soldiers in World War II. What? That's your earlier, that's your answer? Yeah, I guess it's wrong, but yeah, the, the Garand. You think that the robot AI is no even knows how to pronounce it, let alone cares how <laughs> humans pronounce it? The real answer was the rifle won the war. Similar to, I guess, the right arm of the free world or something. I've never heard it said that. Oh, I, I got, I got you. I thought it was asking the nickname during World War II. Well, they probably said that because they knew it was coming. <laughs> All right. So then the next one, you got two now. So you missed one. Mm -hmm. So the next one is. What is the name of the iconic rifle used by soldiers on both sides of the American Civil War? Ooh. Ooh. They're all going to be easy. It's a Springfield. You thought you were just gonna is it a lag? Sixty. You got to look and make sure that it says a little red thing next to your live down there. Otherwise, you're behind. Um, I guess these answers are too. These questions are too hard for. Yeah, I don't know the year. It's a Springfield rifle. Rifle used by soldiers on both sides of the American Civil War. You're just saying Springfield rifle? Sure. Not close enough for the internet. The uh, computer says Springfield Model 1861. Damn. Uh, Ozzy was saying Sharps, and Jacobs was saying Brown Bess. Brown Bess was pretty much. Uh, England's rifle, right? So, mm -hmm. you know, American Revolution. Used them, but you know, it wasn't the main thing. But I mean, technically, they were probably used, but it wasn't the iconic rifle. And then uh, G23 got it wrong by a year, so nope. Let's see. So let's see. The next one is going to be another one from the computer, and the question is: What is the name of the pistol? used i have to speak slow because we got like an hour and a half before your show starts <laughs> what is the name of the pistol used by wild west outlaw hesse haynes jesse james schofield revolver what so that's your final answer i'm gonna give a minute here for other people to answer um i mean it might have been like a Smith and Wesson Model Three. I don't know. At first, going I thought Scott I was going to just be handing out twelve patches, like some kind of covert uh, collaboration between Baron and the Robots. But uh, now I feel pretty comfortable. I'm only going to have to give away two patches. Uh, is anybody else going to answer this one? So you're saying your answer is what the robot says is what now? Schofield revolver. Here's what the robot says. Answer: Nobody's right. Cold forty-five revolver. Which I'll figure out what Shit. <laughs> up. I don't know if that one's actually right, but it kind of is. You know what I mean? But it's also a weird way of saying it. Here's the thing. Do we sit down and have a conversation with the robot AI and say, look, buddy, that's one way of accurately saying it. However, it's a dumbass way of saying it because it's super confusing with an ACP, which, or I guess, uh, well, Colt 45 revolver, but still, it gets... Uh, it's a, it's I'm a, guessing it's right. Saying it. I think it is. It was right. probably a revolver in 45 Colt, but I don't think it was a Colt revolver. Uh, let's see. So the next one, Ray is saying these are tough. The next one is what is the name of the revolver that won the Wild West reputation for reliability? What is the name of the revolver oh, that won the Wild West reputation for reliability? Now I'm trying to think of the way the AI is going to word this. Because <laughs> I would say it's the Colt 1873 revolver. But it might call it the Peacemaker or the Colt 45 revolver. I don't know. I'm going with 1873 Colt. Well, here's the deal. If Roy was in here... Or Jacob was in here, or Nick was in here, or 
Baron was in here, then I'd be giving out a bunch of patches. Right now, I only got to give away one patch. So the robot said, the Colt Single Action Army, also known as the Peacemaker. So there you go. G23 also has a link. Could have been in here. Harvest and patches. He hates patches. Um, next question from the robot. What is the name of the rifle used by Annie Oakley in her famous shooting demonstrations? Ooh. What's the name of the rifle used by Annie Oakley in her famous shooting demonstrations? You know, the, the guy invented a uh, movie camera and they made the first movie of some horse galloping. Mm -hmm. And then they made another movie. And then nine movies later, they made the 11th movie and Annie Oakley was in it shooting guns. So the 11th movie ever made by the dude that invented the, the movie camera was Annie Oakley shooting guns. So people that act like guns and movies and videos ain't and gun videos ain't a thing should step aside and re learn history. But yeah, I got, I got no idea. I, I think it was a 22, but I don't know the model. So I'm just going to say 1873 Winchester. Okay. Wrong. Marlin model 1895, obviously. Come on. Damn. All right. So here's the question that, you know, you might get. You might not get it. You might overthink it. You might underthink it. You never know how people are going to think about this one. So here's the question. I don't know what number it is because I copied and pasted it into a thing where I don't have the numbers here. So let me go over here and see just what number is this. It's number 8 out of 12. 8 out of 12. Question is from the robot. What is the name of the first machine gun used by the U.S. military? What's the name of the first machine gun used by the U.S. military? Not by some other military, but by our U.S. military. Can so I ask a question the about the answer? I guess. Is it actually a machine gun or is it a Gatling gun? So what do you think out there? Is that an answer? Is that a question? Is that a legit question? Is that a cheating question? I'm just wondering if the AI got it right. <laughs> so we got Bionic saying the bar, 1918. Uh, then Jacob saying the Lewis. DJ saying the Max. Could be the Vickers. U.S. military, keep in mind. I think it should be the potato gun. But the accurate answer is what the robot says, and DJ also has a link. By anyway, he doesn't want to jump in because he hates guns. Uh, the the Gatling gun. Oh. So, I guess technically that was an answer. I guess it's another free patch. So uh, we got. Oh, wait, I put this in wrong. So I think you're so good. So let's find out if Darren will get this one, or if anybody in the audience will get this one. I don't think anybody got Gatling gun. This is an answer, a question from the robot brain. What is the name of the pistol used by U.S. Navy SEALs in the Vietnam War? What is the name of the pistol used by U.S. Navy SEALs in the Vietnam War? This is question number nine. These questions are in the description of the video, so if anybody wants to... Uh, use this you'll have the answers by listening and then you can use the quiz in the description or we have tactilequiz.com where we've been posting this kind of stuff every week for the last 124 years got an answer well i would assume it was a 1911. Hmm. dj says the hush puppy months and agrees with you and says 1911 which could just be a random year but gun people know that's a gun and then is it the Brad, hush puppy ammo hush puppy no that's a gun that was used to do things uh for centuries that uh like guards that uh you didn't want to be alerting a whole bunch of people about when you were putting them to sleep um and then there was also a version of it that you used for doing things that uh let's say that one uh video game did anyway so uh you're going with 1911? Yeah. In fact, the answer from the robot, which is the correct answer, is, and if Bob was in here, he'd be he'd be laughing and calling you all 
out for not knowing that it was in fact the Browning High Power. No so shit. All time. I don't know, but that's what the internet's or that's what the robot said. So the internet said it, the robot believed it. This isn't right or wrong. This is the new right. What the I, I believe it could be true. I just surprised I would have figured they would uh wanted a silence gun, but maybe they're going for capacity. You're all believing what the robot told you. I didn't say this is right or wrong. This is just what the robot told you the new right <laughs> is. So we're not making history here. We're just repeating what the robot said. Probably history could have been. So the next question is, the actual fact is, what the question is, is what is the name of the rifle used by U.S. troops during the Korean War? It's a different war than the Vietnam War and a different war than the World War II. M1 Garand rifle. What is the name of the rifle used by the U.S. troops during the Korean War? You're going to go with the Garand, not the Garand. Mm -hmm. No, I'm I'm stick with my answer. Mississippi Carbine M1 Car or Mississippi Thunder. See, I said Mississippi Carbine. So M1 Carbine from Mississippi R1 uh, R4 Mississippi Thunder. There we go. Jacob M1 Carbine. Uh, Bionic M1 Carbine. And wouldn't have been an M2 carbine by then. Oh, come on. Do you think they issued M2s? Come on. Let's not be fantasy internet lives here. Let's be real life. Uh, G23 saying M14. Roy saying M14. And I don't know what else DJ saying. Oh, something robots or whatever. Here's the real answer from the robots. Oh, I already put it in there. The carbine. No shit. Yep. This is essentially what enough people have said on the internet to tell the robot that that's what it thinks. And that's the future. That's what the internet is. The What we're saying is what it is. So eventually... We should ask the AI if the M1 ping got troops killed. I want to <laughs> see what it says. <laughs> oh, I don't ask it questions like that. Okay. I mean, you can on your account, but I don't ask it questions like that. It, it's listening to you and it knows what you're saying. So I don't want to teach my AI weird ass shit. You know what I'm saying? Like as far as like off topic, because I do business on mine. It's all business. Oh, gotcha. Um, so I ask it stuff like questions about like a 12 question quiz with answers about interesting guns from United U.S. history. But I just don't want it to be uh, giving me... Um, alt history stuff or something like that like i don't want it to be thinking fiction i don't know if it does that but that's why i figure i'm going to get another one if i'm just going to ask it random questions although i guess i've asked it some random questions but i'm like a giant fud ai it is a fud that's the problem so exactly I'm teaching it stuff and i don't want it to have any i'm trying to teach it stuff or i'm trying to get it to listen to me so or, or whatever but i don't know if that thing is I don't, i'm assuming it's So, um, yeah, we would have got a patch if you were in here. Next up is, what is the name of the iconic sniper rifle used by U.S. Navy SEALs and U.S. Army Special Forces? Hmm. What is the name of the iconic sniper rifle? Um, when? Now? That's on your business. It says, yeah. what is the name of the iconic sniper rifle used by U.S. Navy SEALs and U.S. Army Special Forces? Well, you can tell that there's hardly ever a time when those two specific units are ever used in the same one amongst themselves, let alone with each other. So you probably could go back to when they might have been using the same one. Um, M70. M70. What is that? I don't even know what that is. Is that a gun? I'm seven. Thought it was. I thought it was a rocket launcher, a grenade launcher or something. SR-25? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, a Winchester M70? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh. Um, let's see what we got out there as far as people answering it. Bionic CNM 24. 
Jacob saying Remy to 700. DJ is not a fan of the robot, saying M4. G23 is saying the Barrett M1A82. Um, and then the M70 is Winchester. Thanks. And then the answer, however, is, which y'all should have known, is the Macmillan TAC 50. Never would have got that. No, of course not. Um, but you're not as smart as an AI robot, so what are you going to do? Next up is the last one. This isn't what's right or wrong. It's what's the new right based on the AI robots version of what all the new things are going to be made because we're all asking the AI robot how to make everything new. So what is the name of the submachine gun used by U.S. troops during World War II and the Vietnam War? Hmm. The name of the submachine gun used by U.S. troops during World War II and the Vietnam War. It could be a couple answers. Could be the Thompson submachine gun. Could be the grease gun. I'm going to go with the Thompson. And anybody else that no, saying anything else besides that out here? Let's see. So Bionic. Thompson G23 is saying grease gun. Roy is saying M3A1 is that a grease gun? Uh, Jacob saying a Thompson. Two Live Moo is saying the Chicago typewriter, which is a gangster way of saying type, uh, Thompson. Uh, and then DJ is saying Thompson also. So the answer, according to the robot, which is the new or the new correct, is. The Thompson submachine gun, also known as Tommy gun. So that's six correct answers, if I'm doing this correctly, if I'm understanding this correctly. Six correct answers. Baron grabbed six new free patches off of the panel uh, in this half an hour quiz. So pretty decent rate of five, a patch every five minutes. Way better than I thought I was going to do. All right. So I thought the answer was going to be M1 carbine on the last one, just to fuck with me. So this is a speed round, and this will be, let's see, we'll just, uh, do we have a 30-second deal? I might be able to get it's a, like a timer. deal on my phone or something. Let me see if I can get a thing on my phone. I think I have a clock on this phone. And then timer, or no, I can just do stopwatch, right, and then set it for... Or no, timer. Set the timer for 30 seconds. All right. No, we're going to set the timer for 21 seconds. And then how do I know what the thing is going to sound like? I guess I have to wait. Oh, wait. What the hell? Shouldn't have done that. Um, probably change this again. Change this to 21 seconds. I asked the AI if a shotgun was uh, good for home defense. And it told me yes, and you can use birdshot. So it won't go through walls. <laughs> really? Yeah, the AI really did paying, that. Are you paying free AI or are you using free AI? Using the free one. I don't know if it makes a difference or not. I think it's the same AI brain. So this is what it'll sound like. Okay, I think you can hear that. The yeah. difference is I'd want my money back. <laughs> well, because that's a weird question to ask it. It does it when you know how AI works, uh, mm -hmm. then you know you can't ask it kind of questions like that so much. Or at least you're not gonna expect a kind of answer when you ask it. It's not like it's uh, brainiac, it's just a it's like a calculator, you, you know, if you, the only words you're gonna get out of it is boobalus and a couple others. Um all right, so we're going to do a lightning round. Actually, I'm going to change this already because that's 21 seconds. That's way too long. How do I go back and change this to seven seconds? Ooh. Seven seconds is all you get for these questions. And as soon as I let this thing run out the first time. Okay. All right. The first one is uh, I'm going to name the 
iconic movie gun, and then you got to come up with the uh, movie. Here's the deal. Okay. You get one guess. Okay. M41A pulse rifle. Aliens. All right. So how do I reset this? Are you kidding me? I have to do this every time? This makes no sense. What did I say? Seven seconds or six seconds? We'll give it seven seconds. How do I make this thing just start over? Oh, please. We can start over. Stupid. Now I have to start the whole freaking thing over again. All right. I have the worst timer I think ever made. <laughs> we fucking do it every time. It's stupid. All right, I'm not doing the same one. Seriously, that's not even, eh. All right, that's the end. They ruined it. My time, my horrible timer <laughs> ruined it. It's ridiculous making me reset the whole freaking thing for each one. Um, I'm not counting out loud to seven. It's kind of punk. So nobody else is in here, so we have to just leave it at that. So what'd you win? You won six patches? Yep. Damn. All right, so... Uh, I guess we'll wrap it up. That was a 37-minute show. Uh, maybe if I were to send out the links more than a few moments before the show starts, we'd get better uh, or more people jumping in, and then the thing might last a little bit longer. But um, with that, we pretty much harvested patches from the robot, and yeah. I don't have anything set up here to grab them right now, but on Friday or something, uh, I'll have something so you can uh, grab an additional six more patches from the file. Yeah, we'll do that. This was pretty fun. Uh, the AI comes up with the weirdest answers sometimes. Yeah, I'll come up with better ways to ask it things, and we'll get more precise answers, or at least ones that'll make more you know, get where within like a range or whatever. DJ's asking a weird question. Uh, I don't know why I'd want to do that, but I would not recommend it. Um, <laughs> so yeah, that, uh, that, that seems like a good way to get sprayed. Yeah, it's been here. Looking for one of the banana mag patches. Uh, those are from Palmetto. I wish I would have got a bunch of those. I ended up getting a bunch of AK patches. There was a year when you could get a whole bunch of the banana ones, but I never got them. Yeah, exactly. Skunks are cool little dudes. They're kind of like a raccoon mixed with a monkey. Like, they're pretty neat. You ever know anybody with a pet uh, skunk? No, never. They uh, take out their stink thing, and then they're just like kind of like a monkey mixed with a cat. They're a lot of fun. I oh, know. no kidding. That's cool. Yeah, they're neat. They're kind of like a uh, a cooler raccoon. I mean, they're still wild, I guess, technically, but with the one I knew, it's just like a big, big I don't know. It's kind of like a cat because it didn't care, but it was a bit, a bit more like a dog because it would listen and it could figure stuff out like a raccoon. You know, like you could give it a jar or something and it would figure out how to open it and eat its own peanut butter. You know, no cat or dog is going to ever do that. Yeah, they're the reason I don't ever want to have a dog door again. Oh, yeah. Came they in a dog door in the garage, <laughs> sprayed everywhere. That shit stunk for so long. Oh, I got shot a big spider with a spell gun. That make a mess. Um, I wouldn't mind having one of them salt things for the spiders out here. Was just the annoying ones that get in the plants and stuff. Problem is, I wouldn't want to shoot salt all around my plants. So, if I could get that salt gun and put kind of gravel in sugar, no yeah, sugar's well, sugar's probably a little better, but they'll get ants. That's true. But I was just thinking, it's not that much better. It's just a little bit of energy, but it's not necessarily what the plants need. But if I put in like slow fertilizer or something, and that would fit in there and work, then that'd be ideal. You know, some kind of a just fertilizer that's the right consistency of sugar or salt. 
All right, do you know what's going on? Oh, I guess do is there a, a thing tonight? I need yep. to link to it over here. Do you know I got it. The, um, um, topic? Uh, no topic tonight. Just uh. Oh, I guess there is no topic for this show technically. Oops. Wait, is there? I don't see it. Oh, there it is. It's hanging way down here. I totally missed a bunch of stuff, but I got the uh, sewing machine going. So, uh, nice. as we were speaking here today, it either was in there breaking or working. So, let's see. Redirect. So, I'm going to connect this to the video. And when this ends, everybody's going to be suggested to go over and check out that show. Uh, what do we got? About a half an hour before it starts still? Uh, yeah. All right. 28 minutes. I guess we're going to end it, and I'll go back to sewing. But uh, sorry for starting this one late. I was sewing, so I didn't even think about uh, – I keep forgetting that the show starts at 9 for me now, which is weird, and it's annoying because I'm used to it starting at 10. So uh, I had to jump in here and start everything up, and evidently didn't get a bunch of people in here. But the goal is to start doing the tactical quizzes again, and it's good that you got to win a bunch of stuff because I had a bunch of – questions they ask you about um uh let's see according to this you've got five free patches already waiting for you uh from now i'm about to add six more from tactical quiz the good news is that uh since you don't mind waiting and you're being patient about it, i appreciate that uh there'll be some potentially some stuff coming out of the printer or a sewing machine where you want to call Ooh, it. sweet depending you grab something from the thing anyway from when it was the indiegogo yeah i uh i did the 50 dollar first run of patches thing i think what i'm going to do since uh, I didn't get the big one, and you know, it's not. I, I wasn't sure, you know, when I was kind of setting that thing up to, to anticipate being able to do ten at a time or something. So mm -hmm. now it's more like I can do three or four at a time, you know, depending on how big they are, kind of thing. So I might do. Well, I actually I never thought about doing a bunch of little ones. I could probably set it up to do a whole bunch of little ones, but essentially I need to go over once I'm sewing and I got the thing set up and it seems like it's doing okay. Like literally. You get the thing, it's in a box with a bunch of foam and stuff. You take it out and it gets shipped in the box. Like, so it, you know, if it got dropped or whatever, it's going to be broke. You know, it's not like it was at a store and I could just take it back to the store and there's six of them over there. Yeah. So, uh, you know, you get it and it's in the big foam stuff and it's in the box and everything. And I took it all apart, plug, plugged it all together, plugged it all, or it's two big pieces. You plug them. Uh, take the tape off of everything since it's a thing with a bunch of moving parts. There's like pieces of pretty substantial tape, like holding everything together with some foam and stuff so that, you know, in shipping, it doesn't all get uncalibrated or something. Uh, but so essentially just threaded it, turned it on, shoved in this design that I already had, and it just immediately started printing good. So knock on wood, knock on better wood or some good wood. Um, shit, that's all I got for wood. Then, uh, you know, it's doing pretty decent. So, uh, let's see, we got to yeah, go. I'm excited to uh, see what you pump out. It's got a color screen. So the last one had a black and white screen. So you would make a design, and let's say it's blue and red and yellow and blue or something, whatever it is. And then you go over to the thing, and it's black and white. So, or it's actually like a shitty Game Boy. So it's like pixelated shit, black and yellow or whatever it is. It's gray so, and darker gray. Yeah, it's like just shitty Tetris looking thing on a Game Boy screen, like the old Game Boy first one. So uh, this one's like a nicer color Game Boy or whatever. So you open up a thing and you can see the color of thread, which is crazy. So before, if it was, you know, like the Wolverine guy and then it was the outline, like, um, like good luck trying to figure out from the Game Boy screen if you're looking at the outline or if you're looking at the fill. And if you remembered from whenever you created the thing, maybe you remembered, but you know, when you make more than 10, you don't remember every layer anymore. So anyway, with this, I'm hoping that uh, I'll be able to kind of tag these things and make it, I don't know, I guess I'm getting into the weeds here, but it's uh, 
the color screen already looks like it's going to be a massive time saver for like a complicated design that's got three or four colors that used to just screw me up. I'd, you know, get, let's say a patch was going to take a couple hours to print or whatever. So, and you get way into it and then print the wrong color and it's like shit. And especially if you walked away from it and it printed for a while the wrong color, then it's like, all right, I just have a bad one. Like, okay, I got a, like another blemish one or something, but sometimes I would just let it print. Other times I would just pull the thing out, but hopefully this will eliminate that issue, which doesn't happen all that often, but it should allow me to do some more intricate stuff. So anyway, I guess what I was saying is since there's not a way to just do 12 uh, at a time for the people, I'm thinking I'm just going to do like batches and then let people pick so that nobody has to get something they don't want. And they'll be like kind of like a pizza buffet, you know, like, hey, I'm going to throw out a bunch of stuff. It might not be exactly what you want, but at least you'll be able to choose from like four things. If not, wait a minute. And then, you know, I'll, usually I'll be able to ask you, hey, what is it you're looking for? And then I'll just make, you know, three of them or something. That's a cool idea. Hopefully. And then, you know, I'm pretty sure most of the people that were doing it weren't like, I just need a patch right away. Like, I need my patch. I'll go for there more you know, interested in getting something that they're interested in than getting it sooner than later. But it, they'll also see how, I don't know how long I'll be able to, uh, or how, long, how many I'll be able to make here. Now that it's not falling, it's like, I don't know, like anything, when the thing was old, it was like, bum, 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 and it would rattle all around, and pieces were jumping all around, and the thing would throw a needle every once in a while. And this thing is all tight and solid, so I don't know if they are just made better, or if it's just that much of a black, like a drastic difference between the the thing with, like, I don't know how many screws missing. I was going around picking everything up, and it was probably... I'm not even lying, six screws just laying underneath of it, you know, that had rattled loose over the years. And like, I didn't unscrew them. Like, they just came out of somewhere. So that, hmm. that thing was getting sloppy and, and old, and, you know, the set screws were falling out, or else, I don't know, you know, shroud screws. I don't know what the hell they were. And this thing's got a few more lights, so I'm not sure. It'll be an interesting uh, series of videos trying to go through and discover what all's different about it. But anyway, like Sam, let's see how fast I can get stuff. I keep saying printed, but you know, you know what I'm saying? How fast I can get stuff made here now that I'm up and running. Anyway, that just barely happened this, this afternoon. So uh, I guess now that I've said all that, I'm going to go ahead and uh, close it down. We'll be back in about 25-ish minutes, 22 and a half minutes for the uh, overnight. No, for the uh, last party. Wait, there is an overnight this week, too, though. Yep. You know how many brackets we're going to have this week? We're going to do worst co-host brackets oh, no. this week. I'll be included in that. <laughs> you got this guy. He pooped inside the house. It rained today, so of course he had to poop inside the house. He doesn't like pooping outside when it's raining. Can't poop outside when you're going to melt. Right. Well, with that, we'll... Uh, Wrap this one up. Oh, do you got anything to plug? Uh, no, I got nothing. All right. Well, thanks again for jumping in and uh, having the cojones to uh, battle the AI and win. If wait, how many were there? I'd say we called a draw. It was six it was lost, and six and won. Slaughtered by six of them, and you and you outmaneuvered the AI with six of them. So well played. And uh, we'll see next time we have a tactical quiz. Maybe somebody will settle the score. <laughs>